What is going on, everybody? It is Frank the Tank, and welcome to episode number three of this PBA Pro Bowling 2023 series. So, um, we're two and one uh, because let's see. Let, let's quickly summarize this. Uh, I did play the uh, the PBA Players Championship in that very first video that I made, where I was just you know running through the game to see what it was like, any changes that they made, and we were on the Players Championship, and now it's just not available. I don't know why. Uh, but then. Um, we went, we, uh, the very first episode of this career mode, we did the World Championship and the Cheetah Championship. Uh, we lost the World Championship, so we were 0-1. And, and then, luckily, we made it up with the wins in the Cheetah Championship and the Chameleon Championship. And now we're 2-1. and one. So now we are going to the Scorpion event, and uh, we're going to see how we do. And as for an update on the Arsenal, no changes. We're still running with the high road because uh, there's nothing of interest uh, in here, uh, I think we're now on tier three. No, we're not. We haven't made it to tier three. The uh, once I get to level thirty, then things are going to start to get unlocked. But you know, and, and until then, I'm still sticking with the high road because there's nothing of interest here that that I want to get. And uh, yeah, I mean, um, to be honest, why change it? I mean, we did win two events with the with just the high road uh, alone. So you know, if it ain't broke. Why fix it? So, um, but yeah, uh, tier three is definitely something I'm waiting on because uh, if you would take a look here, what's available on tier three? Look at that, the Crux Prime, the Physics, uh, the Red Paradox was a nice trackball. I really like that one. Uh, but the Idol, that's definitely one that I probably want to get my hands on. Um, Hypercell Skid, I've never tried that. I mean, uh, which is. I technically should if I ever find one, but I, I probably won't because remember I love the nuclear cell in real life It's my number one go-to ball. So anything in the cell series probably might be just as good But you know, I, I've never I never had the chance to try that ball because they made it before I was even into bowling So it's it's long gone now, but uh, anyway Yeah, that's really the only ball that I'm really after in this tier and uh, I, that doesn't get unlocked until level 40, so I've got quite a ways to go. But anyway, uh, we're going to head into the Scorpion Championship and see what we're working with and see what the Scorpion pattern looks like because I c completely forgot what it's like. So same as usual, three games, uh, trying to make the cut, and then we play. if we make the cut, we make it into match play. And then we have to play like four extra games of that and then see where we end up on the stepladder, if we make it. So 42 feet. That's nice. Uh, I hope it's not as difficult. Uh, I mean, then again, if I could win on that really short pattern that was like, I, I don't even know, was it like 33 feet? Then I could definitely win at this. The longer pattern should we technically be easier. Today in Tampa with oh, now I remember this pattern. Okay, so this ball not being too strong, uh, I guess the ideal thing would be to start right... Well, I probably shouldn't have moved it, but, you know, too late now. Gonna try there. Go at full speed. That wasn't bad. That was actually, I mean, could have been better. Obviously, maybe if I eased up on the speed because seven obviously I left that seven. And it wasn't a solid time. pocket hit. Okay, slowed it down just a bit. And that was a bad idea. Four, seven, ten left on that. And we go back to back splits. Yeah, it just got 95%. Hey, that was pretty cool. I didn't think I'd make that, but I did. I wish I would have done that with that first split, but uh, that didn't happen. All right, so we're moving slightly to the to the right now. I mean, uh, you can see obviously where I threw my previous shot, that line right there. We're going to go quicker and see what happens there. That might work, but you know, I'm still not fully convinced. Okay, now I'm convinced. Two in a row now. I knew that wouldn't last long. Okay, we're moving a little more to the right again. All right, I, I, I think that's become clear to me now that I can no longer go to the right anymore. I have to go to the left. All right, so seeing how this ball reacts when it gets down the lane, it's clear that I'm going to have to slow my speed because this ball be looking like it's hydroplaning. 
on this pattern. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's a pretty good guess. That was a little quick, but got away with it. Because you saw the last shot said 17 point something. That one went 18. 18 again. All right. Oh, geez. Too slow. Too slow. All right, so we finish off game one with the 209. Not bad um, for, you know, not having played on the pattern yet. So now I think I know what I'm dealing with. Um, and, yeah, we're out of the cut, so that's not good. At least that's what I think. Uh, so I think we should be able to do better going into the second game. Perfect. All right, you guys saw that. I made no move whatsoever. I just... Started up the game, stayed here. right there, where they put you on default. All right, this is good. Or so I thought. Wanted... Oh, thank God I did that. You guys saw, I was going to shoot it, and then I thought to myself, nah, I, I don't think so. That's going to get left. I need to go just a little bit to the right. Oh, I was hoping that would have fallen. So I guess the trick with this pattern is that because I don't have the speed to get this ball way down lane, like playing from the far right, uh, that's like my limit right there where they start me off right there on, in the middle. Uh, and then once that board starts to dry up, uh, I can only move right maybe just like a couple boards. And then once that starts to happen, I've got to start going left. So that's the trick with this pattern. And then obviously slow the speed. See what I mean? Not unlike the other patterns where you guys could see instead of moving left, I started moving more right and just increasing the speed. Pretty good. I think we're going to get a good game on this one. Perfect. I went for maximum power on that one because you guys saw that line, that dry part right there is starting to form. So I think maybe I could get one more shot on that. Kind of skeptical, but I'm going to do it. That was luck, obviously, uh, but I can't play on that line anymore. That's obvious. Five in a row. And looking for more. Decrease the speed a bit. Maybe should have decreased Knocked it just a little more, but there. I didn't know. That'll do it for game two, game three. That's coming what up. I'm talking about. We needed to come up big. We got 258. Big improvement with one game left, and we're definitely in the cut now. Okay, final game. Here we go. Let's not screw this up. I got a good feeling about this one. That good feeling is short-lived. That was a high hit. So we're going to move a pinch to the right. Continue playing with quick speed, where it's fresh, and booyah. I was lucky. I threw that at 18.9 when I should have thrown it at 19. 19. And already, I can't play there. Okay, so I'm going to play slightly left of that line. See what happens. Slight decrease on the speed. Right. Oh boy. It's when I start to have to move coming. left Maybe is where it starts to get soft. really tricky. Something went wrong Here we go with that reoccurring theme of leaving the sevens inside. again. Just a and now that, that line is starting to dry, so now I gotta keep moving left again. Alright, moving even more to the left. 
Gonna slow the speed again. Maybe about there. There we go. Down to 18.3. Oh, there we go again. 18.3. Consistency. I like it. Oh, thank God we stayed in the cut, okay? I thought that game was a little too low. And remember, you know, in real life, if you put up low scores, if you give up frames to the field, it's going to knock you down a bunch of places. But luckily, it didn't happen here. All right, match play round. Uh, we're battling Kyle Troop to begin. So let's see what we can do against him. That's how you start. Here's Troop. Troop really using that dark code. Recently and established himself as one of they, the I feel like they made his fro ten times exactly bigger than it should be. You want. So the good thing is, is now we're playing on two lanes instead of what I felt was one. So I feel like I'll be able to play on this line for a lot longer now. But I gotta be careful not that to throw the ball too quick. The there we go. We're back in it. That oh. For the hambo. Oh man, this is bad. He's got four in a row. The only thing I can do is just try to stay with him and hope that he makes a mistake. Already with here you see the max score each player can get. Dang it! Locked in. No, oh, for Christ's sakes. I I have this feeling that he may throw a perfect game. Already with five. God. Dude, this dude is just ruthless. That's too slow. But I got lucky. Great pin action there. It's not enough. This dude is on a perfect run right now. Looking to keep it. This right lane, oh, I'm sick boy. of it. Did not see Can't say I'm impressed about here. that pickup. Because I'm losing. I'm losing so badly. I'm the getting humiliated. Trying to stay perfect through eight. Oh come on! Eight in a row. No, I don't. I don't want this to happen. Yeah, Not now. Ah, uh, come like on! No. All right, so we're gonna move to the right, like I probably should have a long time ago. Probably should have done that a long time ago. Is at eight and looking for more. Jesus Christ. Him down. Will the well, you shut me out already. Going for ten straight here. He just is adding more salt to the wound. For eleven here. Come on, miss it. Thank you, Lord. The perfect game chase. I'm not about to get hit with the perfect game. My goodness, that was scary. Looking for two in a row. So he got 289. That is insane. You see what I mean? The difficulty level. These guys just they 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 don't they don't let up. They will just hold you down and keep whipping you. Just what you want to get it. All right, so there you go. Game one done. I lost 225 to 289. Ouch. Okay, game two, and we're going up against Buttruff again for like the third time. I can't remember what my limit was before I started to have to make the move left. But I could do that. It Two in a row. Pretty, but... oh, oh, that one was lucky. I didn't throw it at 19.2. I threw it slightly a little bit slower. Threw it at 18.9 again, but I did move the arrow a little more to the right. See, I had it kind of like like that, so I went slightly like that. So I got lucky with that one. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Ooh, that was just enough. Another down. Uh oh. Dang it! Come this on! I was on fire. I gave him a chance, and he just blew it. Oh, and he makes it. Okay. And got it. Down of strikes on each lane. All right. He's trying to he's trying to give me a fight right now, despite what uh, happened in the first couple of frames. I'm gonna risk it. I'm telling myself that maybe it's uh, maybe I should make a move, but maybe I could just at least get one more shot like this. Yeah, maybe I should have just moved. Come on. Okay, so I'm going to play in between here, because you can see there that I, that line right there from when I was playing more left, I'm going to get in between, see what happens. Oh, yeah. I'm getting the hang of these adjustments. I think I've got this one in the bag. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but it's it's looking likely. And there it is. All right, one for one in match play. This is good. Okay, so I beat Buttruff yet again, uh, 245 to 212, and we're in second place after that match, so I'm a little bit less worried now after what Kyle Troop did to us. So, uh, let's see now. Uh, so it seems that I'm in the lead compared to everybody else, because uh, I've got 500 and everybody else is below that. But then again, I've still got like two matches left, and who knows who I have to go up against. Okay, match number three, we're facing off against Chris Barnes, I believe, for the first time. Uh, I don't know what happened, but they re-oiled. But uh, anyway, um, I don't think we faced off against Chris Barnes yet. So I, guess, I, I, I truly believe that this is a first. Just like usual. So it looks like he's using a Zen Master. Oh, and he missed it. That was a terrible this attempt. Everything what was that? And you could see it. Did you see that? He was like, God, he was pissed. I guess we could say that's one thing that they added to this game that's brand new is that they added, actually added some facial expressions. Remember Simonson last week? And then uh, now this? What's next? Nice Good God, that looked like it went wide. Wasn't very... Oh my goodness. Get it. Man, Seven. I swear, that thing is going to be my my biggest enemy in this game. Here with two and... him down Again, two it looked row. like it was, the seven was the last now thing to go. How you Knocks down six. That was pretty impressive. I mean, you never want to pick up the 3, 6, 9, 10 with the spare ball, especially like that. Look at that. Technically, the 9 pin should have uh, stayed there, but I don't know, man. All right, so this right lane is clearly his bad lane. I mean, that is the second time that he 10 pinned on this lane already. That was really nice. I like that shot. In the street. I have nothing to say about that. And he is no longer 0-3 on this lane. He finally got a strike. I knew that line was dry, so I increased the speed. I'm gonna do it again. That's slightly slower. And there's that again. Getting a ham bone 
on this throw. And who doesn't love a handle? Ooh, that's not going to help him. Oh my him. goodness, that looked like a fantastic shot. Now he knows yeah, how I feel. I mean, that was so good. So uh, I only need count. I don't even have to strike. But uh, let's see here. Um, I'm going to move left. Put it there and see what happens. Yeah. Seeing as it's total he pinfall after four games, the, the key here obviously is that I want to get the most amount of pins out of this. That shot wanted to read a little earlier, so that, that was the right call. Don't know why I didn't move, but that's okay because we struck out and we got another good game in there. Match three is in the books. Match number four is coming up next. All right, 238. We're doing good. We're on track. We're now the number one seed, uh, and we can keep it that way if we come up with another big game uh, in this last game of match play. All right, so we're two and one in match play right now. Uh, we're doing good. This is the last game. We're going up against Simonson again. I hope he's not as uh, good as he was all those other times. Because I think I have a negative record against him. That might be too slow. Through the nose. Fought off a split. Very lucky. It's awfully good and always in the mix for a title. Okay. Okay. I got, I got lucky there, but we don't know that yet. It's still too early in the game to see if he's going to let up on me or not. No, no, uh, okay, now forget what I just said. Oh, that was so lucky. Oh, my God. I was thinking it was going to be dry right there. See, like that. The ball wanted to start hooking already before it even got halfway down the lane. Oh, that that is not cool. The rope that so I've seen that happen in real life. I'm sure we all have, but crazy to see that it can even happen in this game. All right, we're moving left. I'm, I'm getting away from all of that. That's way too much. What am I doing? Okay, 18 should be... Maybe just a pinch less because of how that 10 went down last. A little luck now. And it appears that he's going to start going crazy now. Ugh, I knew that was going to happen. I nailed the same speed as last time. Too quick again. I think he's going to beat me again. Slow it even more. That was too slow. That's like three times in a row that I've converted that. Ah, oh, that's too slow again. Last frame, looking for the double here. Crap! I think that means he beats me again. Make it a double. Looking for the three bagger. Yeah, I think that means that he won. Strikes again now with three in a row. There it is. He wins the match. Dang it. Why do I keep letting this guy beat me? Okay, by some uh, friggin' miracle, even though we got a very bad 2-0-2 game, uh, I somehow managed to hold on to the lead going into the step ladder. So we only have to win one game, and we got ourselves another, another um, win in this World Series of bowling. So that's crazy. Okay, guys, so it looks like we're going to be facing up against Sean Rash. So, let's see. It started off with Troop and Tackett. Kyle Troop got the victory. He went up against Buttruff. Buttruff beat Troop, and then Buttruff went up against Rash. Rash got the victory. So, it was literally like a freaking domino effect or something. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like we got Sean Rash. I don't know that we've faced him yet, but uh, if we have, then I don't remember. All right, they've re-oiled, so... At least now I don't have to struggle with this. Yes. 
him at your own peril, but he's still got a lot of fire burning deep down inside. Ah, oh, that was too quick. Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh my goodness. I've been getting quite a bit lucky here and there in this. Ah, oh, that's too slow. Ah, oh, now that that makes sense. Okay, let's hope that this isn't one of those games. Please don't let it be one of those games where he suddenly gets like the front seven or the front eight. Trying to make it a ham bone. Okay, it, it isn't one of those There's games. Man, he got that one to the right. And did you see that that shot on the left lane? He got that one to the right as well. But somehow that one recovered. That's what I'm talking about. Back well, on the strike train. Might be a little too quick. Perfect. Just right. That's now what I needed. in the pocket nice looking strike I'm, I'm not I'm, I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys I'm actually kind of nervous here I mean he's he's kind of he kind of like it with those first two frames came into this thing like he's not messing around oh man that was gonna go high well, I think it did but I got lucky okay I'm not taking chances I'm moving to the right a little bit and I'm going to go a little quicker. Mm. Get out of here, Seven. That makes me feel a what lot less nervous. He's starting to miss. You just never know when it's going to be one of those games where they hit you with like a 280 or a 290. And he missed as well. Oh, wow. How about that for some luck? Oh, but oh, you know, of course you don't give me that kind of luck. Will not. Man, what is it with the ball wanting to pick up so early, so quickly already? I swear, like I haven't, I haven't even thrown like more than three shots on that line that I just moved to, and the ball is already wanting to start to hook early. This is tough. But then you know, you do have to keep in mind the the. Like, the volume of oil is different between each pattern. So, I guess maybe that's what they added into this game. That's nice. That does make it a lot tougher, which is good. So, Sean Rash came out hot in those first two frames, making me think that he was going to give me a fight. But, I feel like he used his power up too early, and now he's struggling here. I won! I, I just won the score. Oh, my God. I'm three for three. Guys... We got another one. We won the Scorpion Championship. That is what I'm talking about. And it didn't even occur to me that I got a 247 game. That's actually pretty great. I mean, for some reason, I was way too focused on trying to adjust and trying to get make it to the pocket, trying to get those strikes, and I wasn't paying attention to my score. And in the end, I ended up with a 247. This, this is great. Okay guys, so with the World Series of Bowling officially over, I managed to win the Cheetah, the Chameleon, and the Scorpion. I've, uh, I feel like if I'd have known what I was doing from the get-go, I probably would have gotten everything. The World Championship, the Cheetah, the Chameleon, the Scorpion, but that didn't happen. Uh, but you know what? Three out of four ain't bad. That's actually really good. So uh, now the next, uh, the next one is the USBC Masters. And... Uh, let's see, looking at this, it it's going by the same thing again, at three games total pinfall, and uh, top eight make the cut, and I'm assuming we're going to go through another four games of match play, so uh, yeah, I guess they don't make the format any different for uh, the, the majors, which is kind of lame, but you know what, do we really want to be playing so many games just to get to the stepladder, you know, like they do in real life? It's hectic, uh, but yeah, the USBC Masters is going to be the next one. And uh, yeah, that, that'll be uh, very interesting. So we got no 300 games yet, but we do have three uh, trophies added to the cabinet, which is really nice. 
So this one is going to be the one that I'm going to try to get. And uh, looking at the stats here, actually, after all, after going through the World Series of Bowling, uh, um, <coughs> I've, I've completed 25% of the, the career mode, I guess. Uh, let's see, the lifetime career average is 223, not bad. Uh, PBA Tour titles, three majors, none. But you just wait, I'm going for that Masters title. Um, career games won, 11 out of 17. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, Best game score was a 258. I haven't been able to beat that. Uh, best tournament average was 248.5. And no gutters. That's impressive. That's really nice. Um, nine splits converted. Uh, 117 out of 132 spares. 196 strikes. Pretty good. Actually, no, that's more than good. So, anyway, that was my run in the Scorpion Championship. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how I'll do with the Masters. Uh, I hope that suddenly the difficulty level doesn't get raised up and then I end up getting humiliated. But we'll see. So uh, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you soon for the Masters. Later.